I'm sure at some point you've ridden a ghost train ride. Wherever the spectacle of Disney's haunted mansion or the local carnival affair, these dark rides have been an amusement park staple for over 80 years. But did you know that the first such ride not only originated in the UK, but is still up and running to this day? All who come to this happy place, welcome. In the late 1920s, always looking to install the latest thrill from the USA, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach decided to borrow one of the biggest hits from across the pond. During the early part of the last century, dark ride construction in the USA was booming, with the pretzel company leading the way. Pretzel rides, as they were called, were hugely popular and the Blackpool Pleasure Beach decided to build one of their own. As the name Pretzel didn't really mean much in the UK, and certainly gave no indication of what the ride was about, the name Ghost Train emerged, which was itself taken from a popular stage show of the time. The Ghost Train at Blackpool Pleasure Beach was huge, and after its opening in 1930, other amusement parks installed similar rides, all jumping on the bandwagon. Even holiday camp king Billy Butlin installed ghost trains in each of his seaside amusement parks. In 1936, Blackpool Pleasure Beach decided to install an even larger ghost train and commissioned architect Joseph Embleton to do this after successfully designing other structures for the Blackpool Pleasure Beach which included the casino building, the Grand National Station, and the Fun House. It had a hugely impressive frontage, opening up into what could only be described as a giant stage set, complete with roller coaster style drop in the center. The main stage was flanked either side by balconies which served to add an extra moment of excitement for the riders and to also show park visitors that this ride was not only on one level, but two. Today, the ride consists mainly of special effects using luminous paint, which is lit by black lights. Many scenes in the ride are based on horror stories, characters or movies, such as Dracula and more recently, The Exorcist. And on a final note, the ghost train at Blackpool Pleasure Beach is supposedly haunted by a real ghost by the name of Cloggy. Cloggy used to work on the ghost train and got his nickname because he used to wear clogs all the time. Staff members have often heard him walking behind them when they are in the ghost train, even to this very day. Now, come with me and ride the world's first ever ghost train. <laughs> That's really awesome. 
bed properly. Why? It's a bit of 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 a bit